Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today they released some new cards, uh, the new final editions. This time it is Alshon Jeffrey, uh, signature card that you get for completing the collection. Once again, I'll try to complete this for you like I did with the intro roll, just so you guys can see the, uh, uh, what the, what the stats on the final edition if you're looking to get it. But we are going to go over the four cards that were released and their overall and all that good stuff. Uh, so first we're going to start out with Charles Clay, which is a 89 overall tight end for the Dolphins. He is currently going for 8k. I uh, could buy you could like you could say he's going for like 12 because if these two sell, which I assume they will sell recently or pretty quick, he'll be about 12k. Um, his stats Pretty basic, decent stats for an 89 overall. Uh, nothing too exciting. They should have moved that text over a little bit to the left, but um, where you see final edition lead team and receptions, receiving touchdown six, the kind of the parentheses is off, but whatever. That's just me being weird. Uh, but there are his stats in not the greatest. I don't know. I can compare him to like Antonio Gates or Kyle Rudolph, uh, but. He, he doesn't have, I don't know, he has some decent stats, but if you look, he I guess he's a better run blocker than Gates, but route running's down, spec catch is down, awareness. Awareness is kind of big, uh, so I'm not going to be picking up that Charles Clay. Uh, next, we've got Ezekiel Ansa. Uh, right end. I don't know why I clicked left. It's right end for the Lions, and he's a 93 overall. Yeah, 93 overall. He's going for 26k, which is a lot. Um, he has some pretty good moves. Or not moves, he's got a pretty good power move, uh, which is his strong suit opposed to his finesse. But he still has a decent finesse, um, a decent block shed, decent pursuit, decent speed, decent awareness. He's just, he's just decent. I'll give him that. He's just a decent card. He's not going to blow you away. He's like my next-gen Chandler Jones. He's not going to blow you away, but he's going to play good. He's going to he's gonna contain. He's going to do his job, pretty much. Uh, that's how I look at his card. And so to wrap this up, we've got uh, two cornerbacks. Oops, he is an 87. Stupid server busy. Look for the card. Holy crap. Um, but it is David Amerson. Uh, going for 16k, 87 overall cornerback for the Redskins, 94 speed, which is really nice. Um, better in zone than he is in man, uh, which is uh, not 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 awful. Some people play zone, which is not bad. Good thing they put him as zone defense, not man, because sometimes they do stupid stuff like that. His press is also decent if you want to play him uh, bump and run man to man. So not an awful card. Uh, the 94 speed helps the card be even better. So not a terrible pickup for a cornerback. Um, I can compare him to my Antonio Cromartie, who is also a twenty or an eighty-seven overall. Let's see here. Uh, so Cromartie, same speed, uh, three better agility, five better awareness, uh, eighteen less tackle, uh, eight better man, uh, nine worse zone, six worse press, and eight worse or worse play rec. I can't really see the hidden depth chart stats, but. Uh, he looks pretty good compared to him, but like if you flip over like Charles Woodson, Charles Woodson just laughs at him, but that's a whole nother thing. And then the last one is Leotis McKelvin, who is a 90 overall cornerback for the uh, Bills, and he is going for 16K. And I'll compare him. I have a 90 overall quarterback, cornerback in Pat Pete. Uh, Pat Pete plays real good. Uh, he's kind of short at 5'10", uh, two less speed, uh, one less agility. Two more awareness, six more tackle, two more man, three more zone, 16 less press, and three more play rec. 5'10 uh, is a little short. Uh, you, you want taller cornerbacks. I think that's why everybody likes Antonio Cromartie. Or not everybody, but a lot of people um, like Antonio Cromartie in-game. Uh, just because he's tall. How tall is Amerson? 6'1", not bad. Uh, actually pretty tall. Uh, so that's nice. You always want at least somebody who can compete with like a jump ball against Megatron or Randy Moss or something like that. Uh, but I am going to try to complete that collection for you guys. It may take a while, maybe a couple days, three or four days until they go down. I don't want to pay more than more than 7k for a card. 
so I might as well just wait until the most expensive one gets the 7k. That's what I did with the Entro roll. Uh, so that's a thing, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you guys are liking the gameplay. I'm going to start trying to do that maybe uh, three or four or five gameplays a week maybe, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.